Hi, I'm Divya Gugnani, and red wine is usually my healthy go-to drink, as cocktails don't qualify for doing the body good. Until now. Today, we're going to create sustainable ingredient, antioxidant-packed cocktails at Bloodhound in San Francisco, courtesy of Vive. So let's go behind the burner and meet the bartender. So I'm here with Nea White. It is cocktail time. What are you mixing up for me? Well, we went to the market uh, yesterday to, um, to see what was going on fresh, what's happening today. This is called an Ogin melon. It smells like passion fruit. It's, uh, it's, I guess it's kind of a honeydew, but it's just got a ton of different stuff going on. So I knew I wanted to play with that. After all, we are in San Francisco, yeah. <laughs> and so we had to do something sustainable. And uh, right next to him, I found uh, some uh, lemon cucumbers. Looks like a lemon, tastes like a cucumber. And um, some tarragons. With um, tonic water, there's the, the sort of standard brands that come in plastic bottles. I don't really like those very much. They tend to be pretty sugary. There's a couple of really cool brands out there. Uh, Fever Tree is one. This is actually their bitter lemon, which isn't classically tonic water, but behaves the same way, and I'm really a big fan of it. I'm gonna squeeze a little fresh lime juice in there, because you can't be fresh. I see a lot of people uh, using these backwards. If the juice is gonna come out through the holes, then put the cut side towards the holes. When you get that in the eye, you don't wanna make drinks anymore. I got this? Yeah, there you go. You hold the jigger right next to the glass, mm -hmm. and you can, you can tip it in. It's a lot more steady, and you can tip it in, and there's less distance to go. Licking the bar is not sexy, but don't do that. So I'm gonna put some ice in it, get it iced up. So right now, we have a gin and tonic with a lot of lime. So this tarragon, which I just think is awesome, goes with anything citrusy. When I think of tarragon, I think of French food. I don't think of cocktails. I do think of vitamin C, though. So uh, I'm gonna wake the tarragon up a little bit, just give it a little slap, get the oils going. Sometimes you can do this with a straw. A lot of people don't use straws at home. So just take a long spoon and scooch it down. We call this a Martha Stewart, where we scooch things down the side and decorate the glass. And just to keep it going, I slice these lemon cucumbers paper thin. Now, these start out just looking pretty, but as the drink they goes down, the drink. They totally bleed into the drink. If you have friends coming over and you pop out to the backyard with five of these things, which take no time to make, you're kind of a hero. So this is my market tonic. It has that hint of berry and fruit yeah, and around. a little taste maybe of chocolate. So what's another one? So like I said, um, we're using um, a local farmer using what he has. I went out knowing that I want to support this guy, that I want to spend my money and my energy in the right place. Vive kind of does the same thing, where a bottle from every bottle of Vive goes into uh, rainforest um, preservation. preservation. Yeah. And it's got a lot of antioxidants, 57% <laughs> more antioxidants than blueberries and pomegranates. Wow. You gotta be careful when you're when you're doing that with the first couple of squishes, it's gonna pop back out in your face, especially if you got a good melon like that. It's super juicy. And the key to actually buying melon usually is that you know if you don't have a specialty melon or you don't go to the farmer's market and you're just trying to get it at a supermarket, you really wanna look for a melon that's you know not bruised and has a when it's ripe it has a little bit of that yeah. fragrance and it smells nice. These are with melon that's Pretty sweet. We want something sort of the size of a roll of quarters. Sometimes when the melons aren't super sweet, I'll actually throw it on the grill a little bit and it'll get a little char on it. This. So that's a good. great tip. Throw yeah. the melon on the grill and you'll get the caramelization from the fruit, intensify the sugars, yeah. make it a little bit sweeter. Peaches on the grill, nectarines on the grill are great. And you just throw them on until they get a little caramelized. The sugar level is going to go up. And then when, if you muddle them like this, you're going to have some smoke. Smoke is kind of hard to get into a drink that has unaged spirit like this. It's got the professional shake going on. All right, see if it's frothy, no chunks. Yeah, it looks good. I'm gonna pour it in there. When you're thinking about how much of the spirit to put in, is it one ounce, two ounces, depending on the size of the glass? Well, it depends on the alcohol level of the um, of what we're using. In this drink, we went with a full two ounces. That's okay. plenty, that's not gonna hurt anybody, that's responsible. We only put an ounce, but we're also gonna top it off with sparkling wine. So there's um, basically a half a glass of champagne going in there too. So that's alcohol as well. So you can pull back on the spirit a little bit and it kind of makes sense. We don't want to hide the champagne entirely. We like champagne. If Absolutely. you were to have champagne, which is from France, you would enjoy that individually. Absolutely. If you want to mix something in a cocktail, I would suggest a Prosecco or, or a sparkling a wine like or a cava, <laughs> which I love. Watch what happens when we put this in. It's gonna foam up here. It comes to life. Yeah, mm. and if you do that in a flute, which is very pretty, I know, you have to take the time to go back and forth and back and forth. Wow, you get that melon flavor. Yeah. It's sort of effervescent, very summery. Well, cheers, thanks for having us. Thank you.
Vive, the world's first acai spirit, donates $1 towards rainforest preservation for every bottle sold. Stay tuned to Behind the Burner, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques that are lighting the culinary world on fire.